everyone, it's Jo. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I just thought I would pop in and share some news and share some layouts that I have been working on the past month or so. Um, I haven't had a chance actually to do much recording lately. It seems that there's always someone in the house. So I've just taken some time out now to quickly get this together. Um, first things first, some really exciting news. Uh, I was asked by Melissa Kennedy to design for Kazercraft for the next year. So I jumped at that opportunity, so I'm super excited to be working for them. Um, I have been busy creating lots of things for upcoming releases, having a really lovely time. So that's a little bit exciting. Secondly, um, I am on my way to Brisbane next month to teach some classes for Alison at the Crafty Chain and also the lovely Barbie up at Daisy Chains on the Sunshine Coast. So I'm really excited to be doing that. Not so excited about the whole flying thing because as a lot of you know, I don't do the whole flying thing very well, but I am lucky enough that I am dragging my hubby along with me so he can hold my hand and hopefully it does not get too untidy. Anyway, um, I have one more piece of exciting news that I can't quite share yet. Um, hopefully by the end of the week I will let you know what's going on there but it just seems to be at the minute a bit of a whirlwind with so many opportunities that have been coming up so stay tuned that information is coming soon anyway on to some crafty stuff I thought I would share just what I've been doing so these first cards here were for my design team commitments for Dusty Attic this month so Jen has released a new collection of chipboard. Um, I think it's available now. I'll put the uh, Dusty Attic link in the comments below. Pop over and have a look because she's got some fabulous designs there, really, really nice. So these are just a couple of cards that I made. These little broken bits here, they are a new release. And these, um, you can see them, these little mini foliage is a new release. And I think this little flourish might be as well. Um, yeah, so jump on and have a look. So that was for Dusty Attic. This one here is um, Kazercraft. So this was using the Morning Dew collection, which I think was um, from memory, because the months go so quick. I think it was last month's release. Yeah, it was. So I actually use a sticker book on this. Um, I'm generally not a big fan of stickers, but the book I found was fantastic. So these were all strips, sticker strips. So I've just stuck them on my background and used them as pattern paper. And all these little pieces here are all stickers as well. So I used my anti-static pad and took the stick off the back of them so that I had more time to play around and get them positioned exactly where I wanted them. So that was the, yep, Kazercraft. This is this month's release with Kaza. This is magenta. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Lots of pinks and pops of black. Um, yeah, really enjoying this collection. I have made a little mini flip album out of this as well, which I'm uploading to YouTube as well, so you can have a little look at that. Um, but this one is available now at your local paper craft store, so that's magenta. This was um, Dusty Attic as well i'm not quite sure which month now like i said the months are starting to go a little bit too quick um it may have actually been for a mood board challenge so i've used some dusty chipboard here and here the flourishes the little holly berries and i've teamed it up with some i think these papers may have been minte from memory must have been their last christmas one um yeah so that was for dusty this one here is um, another one with the Morning Dew collection. Um, I actually taught this one at the scrapbook store in North Perth where I've just started to pick up some teaching gigs which was a lot of fun last Saturday. So if you're in the Perth area, um, come along. Suzanne has some awesome classes. Um, she is a wonderful person. She will help you with whatever you need um, and it's a, just a terrific little scrapbook store. So that's in, yeah, North Perth, Charles Street. So. I can actually leave the link in the comments below as well. I'll do that for you. I'll link it below her website. She also does mail order. Terrific online mail ordering system. This one here was a class that I did at home. 
Um, so I put my Cameo through its paces, cut out the cut file and I've backed it with some papers. Um, these papers as well I think they are um, Kayser Craft papers from the Rosabella collection and I've teamed it up with some Dusty Attic chippy. So I'm, that heart here is Dusty Attic. I don't know if you can see the, the shimmer on that. A bit better. So I embossed that with green embossing powder and then rubbed over the top of it with some um, gold waxes. This is another one for Dusty Attic. Um, that might have been last month's, I think. So again, yep, lots of chippy. These are all dusty chipboards. Jen just has the most phenomenal chipboard. I love working with her product, always really cool. Um, yeah, that's dusty, chippy as well. So yeah, all dusty. Another one for dusty as well. Um, so I kind of created my own mixed media back, well, tried to create my own mixed media background. I generally suck at that kind of stuff, but this one didn't turn out too bad. Um, and again, yep, uh, dusty chippy and just some flowers as well. So that's it. Um, thanks for popping by. I am going to try and record a little bit more, try and do some more process videos as well. Like I said, it's just trying to get some time when uh, the kids aren't coming and going. They all have their own cars, so you never know when they're out, when they're in. So it's just hard to get a bit of quiet time. Um, but anyway, um, stay tuned as well for the exciting news that I've got coming up later on in the week. I will chat to you soon and have an awesome scrappy day. Bye!